Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Shelby. Welcome back to my channel, Grace with Books. Today, I am going to be doing my March spread for my reading journal. I am absolutely ecstatic about this month's theme. I took inspiration from my most anticipated book that is coming out in March, and that would be Lost in the Neverwood by Aidan Thomas. Aidan Thomas wrote The Cemetery Boys, which came out last October, and his new book, Lost in the Neverwood, is inspired by Peter Pan, and I am so excited for that book, so I decided to do my own Peter Pan Neverland theme for the month. First off, we are going to start with the collage page. I was super excited. I had so much fun finding pictures for this theme. I wanted to have a mix of images from the original animated movie, but also some stuff that just represented the Neverland slash Peter Pan aesthetic. So you'll see a mix of the cartoon and more realistic pictures in this collage. I think it all came together quite nicely. I absolutely adore Peter Pan, so this was just so much fun to look up images and kind of craft a collage for it. And then moving on to the title page, I decided to do just something very simple this month. I decided to kind of create the image of all of the darlings and Peter flying to Neverland. So I drew out a circle and I kind of wanted to represent the London skyline and I did little silhouettes of them flying to the stars. And I love how simple and just kind of clean it turned out. I was really worried about it because my artistic skills are not the best, but I think it turned out really beautifully and I'm really happy with it. Lastly, I added in my title. Just because this was such a draw-heavy title page, I decided to make my font super simple, and I really love how this page turned out. This might be my favorite cover page that I've done. I just love Peter Pan so much, and I think it turned out really well, kind of exactly what I had envisioned in my mind. The next page is my calendar spread. This is basically the same one that I do every single month with the one page calendar, a place for my notes, a tracker for my YouTube and Instagram growth, and my goals for the month. So the setup was the same, but I had a little bit of a hard time picking the color scheme that I wanted for this spread just because Neverland is so broad and there are so many beautiful colors associated with it. I ended up going with kind of like a dusky light green, a light purple and a light blue. I feel like those three colors were together well represented kind of what I was going for, especially because there was no clear color scheme in the collage page. I do think that those three colors ended up looking really great together, and of course it is not a Neverland spread without some pixie dust, so I filled in the stars with my really pretty gold pen, and you'll see that throughout the spread I think it all looked really good and kind of brought with it this simple magic. Next to that, we have the To Be Red and Days Red spreads. Once again, just basically the same that I've always had them, except I think I got a little too carried away when I was making the boxes for Days Red, and I went well over 31 boxes, so I'm going to realize that about halfway through doing them. So just bear with me, and they'll be fixed in the final flip through, but for now, there's just going to be a bunch of boxes, and I'm going to like just skip over them basically but what really is very special to me about this spread about this page 
is the pirate ship at the bottom. So I decided to do the flying pirate ship that you see at the end of Peter Pan. It was really difficult to draw it out. I used many Google images to assist in it, but in the end, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It just looks so magical with the pixie dust kind of going off of it and it kind of just looks like it's sailing off the page and I'm really happy with it. So while I messed up a little for the day's red, I am really happy with how the ship turned out. On the next page we have the YouTube tracker which I actually did switch up this month. I didn't like doing it by week, I had decided to go back to doing it just by video so I have six boxes. Five of those will be for the videos that I'm putting out each month or you know this month and the sixth box will be for ideas either for this month or next month and I love how symmetrical and clean that looks. And at the bottom, you can't do a Neverland spread without Tinkerbell, so I decided to just, you know, cut a picture of her out because I did not think I could draw her and just add some pretty sparkles around her. You know, she gets her own page because she's special like that. For my brainstorm page, I decided to do something really, really simple and it actually ended up being one of my favorite pages of this entire spread. But for my brainstorm page, I decided to kind of make it like a pirate map. So I outlined the page with this kind of ripped map kind of style and then did some X marks the spots by the title and did kind of like the dotted map line to just add like another border and it just was so simple and so pretty that I'm kind of in love with it and to kind of give it that old pirate map feeling I just kind of like colored in the edges of the map with this light light brown Tombow marker. I do not know which number it is, but I think it looked so good and it just goes to show you that the simplest spreads can be the absolute best ones. The book's red spread is basically the same as always, it's just that graph that has the title, what I rated the book, if it's a physical audiobook or ebook, um, if I've reviewed it, and the dates I've read it, so it just has all that information on there so it's easy for me to track what I have been reading throughout the month. And I decided to put a little quote at the bottom of it, you know, just the very classic second star on the right and straight on till morning. And I did the two little stars to kind of represent that. And I did some even more pixie dust on the top and bottom. So I wanted this just to be very simple, very cute, and I love how it turned out. The final page of this spread, my monthly favorites page, I decided to do something really simple for and just draw out a few symbols of Peter Pan that I like. So you have his little classic green hat, I drew a sword, I tried to draw a pirate wheel, it did not turn out wonderfully, um, so that's just there. I drew a hook for Captain Hook and I drew a little acorn. So. I have been loving doing my monthly favorites pages every month. I have so much fun filling them out and just kind of thinking back and reflecting on my month and what were my favorite TV shows and movies and books that I read and I like that those kind of favorite things get a whole special page to themselves. So now we are on to the final flip through. As you can see, I didn't change much in this page. I just added kind of a white outline to Peter Pan and the Darlings just to make them pop out more and I really like how it turned out. The This page, I just added the numbers in for the month and I fixed up the day's red spread. I whited out all the boxes that were not supposed to be there and I added a little thing that says faith, trust, and pixie dust. So this one also turned out really well. I think they all did. Peter Pan is just a story and a show that means so much to me and I'm so happy that 
Aiden Thomas is coming out with a new and fresh retelling of it, or at least a book inspired by it. So I am just so excited to get my hands on it in March. I absolutely love his writing, and if you do too, I recommend checking it out. But that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to get updates on when I post. I post every single week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. I love you.